Hey guys, even here and in this video we got a couple of very interesting updates from some really popular bodybuilders. So unlike my previous video that I made yesterday, which was more for hardcore bodybuilding fans, it wasn't really about the most popular social media guys, this one is opposite of that one. This one is about the most popular guys in the sport right now. So we're gonna be talking about, as you can see right here, Chris Bumstead, definitely the most popular guy in the sport right now. Also, Urs Kletsinski, another classy guy who is also extremely, extremely popular. And then also Andrew Jacked, who is one of the more popular guys in open bodybuilding. So I'm not sure what you guys prefer, but let me know down below in the comment section. Do you prefer videos about the more popular mainstream guys? Or are you more into the hardcore bodybuilding stuff, the underground stuff? Well, I wouldn't say those guys are underground from my previous video, but they aren't exactly uh, mainstream, super popular everywhere in the world. They are more for hardcore bodybuilding fans. So I'm really wondering what percentage of my subscribers are hardcore, deep into bodybuilding fans. I mean, YouTube analytics doesn't show that. So you can let me know down below in the comment section. Let's go now with Chris Bumstead, who says he's about to get huge, like he's not huge already, he's about to get huge and this is what he looks like right now. Alright, so let's analyze Chris Bumstead's current look, his current physique and he's around 5-ish months out of Olympia. So Chris Bumstead, usually in the offseason he relaxes a little bit. Like, he doesn't blast gear in the offseason, he's probably just on TRT, I mean, he spoke about this previously, and I absolutely believe him, because this guy is a genetic freak. You guys saw how big he was when he was, like, 19, so if he was willing to push it, like, to the limits, if he was actually able to, if he didn't have that disease, that kidney disease, he would probably be able to grow into open bodybuilding, but he's not growing, he pretty much stays the same year-round, he just gets harder, super conditioned, he gets freaky when he's prepping for the Olympia, but like in the offseason he looks like this. So I absolutely believe that he's either completely off or on like, I don't know, cruise dose. Maybe TRT, I don't know. But like I believe he's not taking a lot of stuff, he's definitely not blasting. And he looks like that. So what I'm paying attention to when I'm looking at this physique update of his, I'm taking a look at the muscularity and body fat percent. And I gotta say both are really good, are at a really good spot right now at this point in a year. Because usually like he would get, I think he would get even chubbier and I think he would get even smaller. I think this time around he actually maintained a solid physique, like he's not, he doesn't look bad at all, like he looks pretty good. I mean, he, when he starts like, you know, prepping for the Olympia, when he starts his cycle, when he starts eating probably more, when he's more regimented with the food, with the training, when he really starts focusing on progress, which I'm sure he already is in the offseason, I'm sure he's training really hard, and he's taking what he's taking, and he's eating high quality foods, I'm sure about that, but he's not pushing the limits, he's not really trying super hard, when he starts doing that, his physique changes rapidly, now looking at him right now, at how many, around 5 freaking months out, he looks good, he looks good, and he says he's about to get huge, so I'm guessing very soon, maybe in a couple of weeks, maybe even sooner, he's gonna start his blast, his cycle and his, all the protocols that he's doing when he's prepping for the show, like training, probably training harder and heavier, probably eating a little bit more food, and now that his coach is Honey Rambert, I mean, that's probably the reason why he looks like this right now. They're probably, you know, talking in the offseason and he's doing whatever Honey is telling him to do. And that's why he looks better. And if, they, if these guys are actually working together for an entire year and they already have the experience of a prep together, we can expect an improved version of Chris at the Olympia 2023. I mean, I don't know. I know how insane it sounds. I know last year he looked like he could not look any better uh, in his weight cap, but guys, I'm telling you, there can be an improvement, because I don't think he ever looked this good at this point. As you can see, arms are looking big, massive, shoulders did not melt away like they usually do with Chris, they're still pretty big and round, chest, well, that's his strongest body part probably, but it's big and full, 
and his body fat percent you can see his stomach like you can see his lower abs they are all prominent they are they're all visible like there isn't any fat he usually adds some fat in his lower abs but now we can't really see that uh, his legs do look kind of smaller but I think it's only just the angle and what he's wearing if he was in his boxer shorts and he was you know flexing his legs his legs would look bigger but he's just hiding them here also along with his chest his legs are also one of his best body parts so I'm not worried about his legs I'm not worried about Chris Bumstead in any way I'm pretty sure as long as he's able to compete and willing he can win as many Olympics as he wants. Like, he is a class above everybody in classic physique, including Ramon and, and, and Urs. Even though those guys are absolutely amazing and they are really, really good, Chris is just on another level. I mean, I gotta say it. Like, I don't want to take anything away from the other guys, but, I mean, this guy, Chris Bumstead, like, he's definitely special. He's different. He has something that nobody really does, so... Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's in a good spot right now and that he's going to win 5th Mr. Olympia title and as long as he's willing to keep prepping, keep pushing his body, he can win as many as he likes. And if I was to predict how many Olympias he's gonna win, I mean, it really depends whether he gets injured, whether he decides to stop competing, uh, but like, I'm, expect I'm predicting him winning 10 Olympia titles and then retiring and not just because he can't win anymore, just because he doesn't want to compete anymore. I think that's, what, that's what's going to happen. But that's just me trying to predict the future. Who knows what's going to happen. Maybe he's going to get injured this prep, tear up pack, and be done. You never know. God forbid, but like you never know. So if everything goes well for him, uh, the way he looks right now, he is going to win another Olympia at least rather easily. All right, next we got Urs Kaledzinski with his physique update and he looks great right now, honestly, like he looks really pretty lean, very, very lean, but really full, really big. It looks to me like he actually made some progress. It looks to me that he actually utilized his rebound, his Arnold Classic rebound really well. Now, his face looks super bloated, but I think that just sub-Q water. You can see the rest of his body. He is lean. He's very lean. And he's in a much better spot than Chris is right now. But that doesn't matter at all. I'm sure Urs wishes to challenge Chris someday to beat him. And he's trying really hard. But, like, in my opinion, what he can do, the only thing he can do is just improve and look his best. Maybe beat Ramon Dino. I think he can beat Ramon, you know, I think he has better structure than him as long as he improves his arms and maybe he adds a little bit of muscle everywhere in his upper body, which I'm sure he's doing right now because he's obviously bulking hard. So he can probably challenge and beat Ramon if everything goes well for him, but like to, to win that title, to beat Chris, yeah, I, I don't see that happening, not anytime soon. But he looks great, take a look at the video. I was worried that he was bulking too hard, but I'm not anymore. Like, it's only his face that got super bloated. He's very lean. You can see striations everywhere. You can see how thin his skin is. And he's not even water, really. His body is not holding any water. He's really dry. So the question here is, how much did he really progress? Because it looks to me like he progressed a lot. Now, usually these gains that come that fast... They usually dissipate very quickly when these guys start prepping. Like, you need to hold on to the tissue for a little bit longer, for at least like a year. I don't think you can really progress that much in your rebounds. I mean, you can progress some, but not as much as it seems in Urs's case right now. It looks to me, he looks like, he, right now he looks like he gained 20 pounds of muscle. And I don't think that's the case. And I don't think he has the, 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 the freedom to do that. I don't think his weight cap is that far away. He probably has another 5, maybe 10 pounds max. Uh, probably less, probably 5 pounds. So, like, he pretty much maxed out his physique. I'm sure that this year, when he depletes down, when he actually gets shredded, he's going to be maxed out. He's going to be where he can be in terms of weight, like maximum weight. And is, are those changes going to be enough like for him to, let's say, beat Ramon? That would be a huge success, to play second at the Olympia. I think it can happen. I think it is very possible. 
uh, at the Arnold Classic earlier this year, I actually had Urs winning before I saw high quality footage. Why? Because Urs has a better silhouette, he has better structure, he has probably smaller waist, his lats are flaring, popping out more, and I think just the shape of his legs, of his lats, of his, of his entire body really is just more classic. The reason why Ramon won was because he was probably fuller and harder. But you guys remember that Urs had a food poisoning five days prior to that Arnold Classic, so he was definitely flatter than he would have been if everything was smooth for him. So I think he's more classic than Ramon. Ramon is bigger. Ramon is bigger and probably a little bit more conditioned. So again, if Urs makes the progress, which I believe he already made, and there are no hiccups, nothing wrong happens during the prep, if he comes in at his 100%, with added new improvements that we're seeing right here in this video, I think he actually has a really good chance of beating Ramon. Beating Chris Bumstead? No, I don't see that happening. But beating Ramon and placing second? Absolutely, sure. What do you guys think? Let me know down below. And finally, we got an update of Andrew Jacked. And I think this is the last update, as he says. Uh, he's gonna start the, the training cap with his uh, trainer, Psycho Fitness Louis, and he says he's going to start covering up with a hoodie. So we won't know what's happening behind all that clothes during his prep. Uh, I'm not sure. I think he's doing Texas. I think he's gonna try and win Texas and qualify for the Olympia. Uh, now, as far as his physique, it is, I think it's absolutely the same like it was last year or this year. And I don't think he can actually make progress in the rebounds. I don't know if he's utilizing the rebounds properly or he's just taking some time to refresh his body to get healthy after the show, which probably is a smarter thing because he's competing so often. But if he really wanted to make progress, like serious progress, and achieve, let's say, the ultimate success, like the very top of the Olympia, let's say top three, to win a medal at the Olympia, I think he needs a good off-season. I think he actually needs some time to grow. Can he make enough progress in prep to actually get there? I don't know. Like I would love to see Samson win the Olympia. I would love to see that kind of physique win the Olympia. I would love to see Samson deserve to win the Olympia. I don't want him to win just because he's taller and more classic. I want to see him get like more shredded glutes, get even bigger and more complete and beat guys like Derek and Hardy and Nick. And then if, if Samson actually did that, that would kind of, like if Samson was the Mr. Olympia, that would kind of change the criteria a little bit. I'm sure it would definitely affect the judging, at least slightly. So if that was the case, then guys like Nick Walker wouldn't really have an advantage. Guys like Andrew Jacked would have an advantage. Guys like Michael Crejo as well. You know, taller guys with beautiful shape, with small waists, Without guts, without varicose veins, without nasty structures, mass monsters wouldn't be as appreciated as they are today. You guys know that I'm a huge fan of Nick Walker. I'm not saying anything against him. Those are the facts. Nick has a big waist. Nick has varicose veins. Nick is not the most aesthetic bodybuilder. But I love mass monsters as well. Now, if the aesthetic classic guys like Andrew, like Samson, like Michael Grigio got as big as Nick Walker and, and they actually maintained their classic uh, lines, their aesthetics, then that would be lights out for the less structurally gifted guys. And Andrew Jack has all the, all the chance, all the potential to be one of the top three guys in the world and potentially to win the Olympia. He has that. What he needs is more muscle. Is he adding that muscle? No. Why? Because he's competing still over and over every year, multiple shows. Now he's doing Texas and he's going to do the Olympia and maybe he's going to do the Arnold next year. Well, I hope he's not going to do the Arnold. I hope he's going to do the Texas or whichever show, win it, qualify, do the Olympia, place in the top eight again probably and then take some time off, you know, and do a show later in the year or do another show that is post-Olympia, like right after the Olympia and qualify like that, which is something Krizu is doing. Krizu is doing Prague Pro after the Olympia to qualify for the next year's Olympia for the 2024. And I hope Andrew Jack is going to have the same kind of thinking. Like he's going to, like, I hope he's going to 
take some time off and actually focus on growing and changing his physique to the point where it can't be denied, to the point where he is going to be a top 3 material and he has all the potential to achieve that. Anyways guys, that's gonna do it for this video, if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, if you wanna show me some love, if you wanna support me, if you want me to keep making all this awesome content for you guys, you can support me by clicking on the link down below in the comment section and buying any of the old school lab supplements you like guys, just make sure you use the code EVAN, you get a 15% discount and I get something from that as well, so that is the way you can help me out, if you guys want that, that's how you can support me, Thank you guys so much for watching, see you soon, all the best guys and bye bye.